last time on Just So You Know. We are talking about the Ketef Hinnom amulets. The Ketef Hinnom inscription. Uh, the Ketef Hinnom uh, amulets. I can't even pronounce it. Ketef Hinnom amulet. The Ketef Hinnom amulets are these two very small silver rolled up plaques. When it was unrolled, we found out that it had a Bible verse on it. Whoa, that's fire. They have the earliest known biblical text. To really understand why this is such a big deal, we have got to talk about the dates for these amulets. They actually date to roughly around the 7th century, 6th century BC. I know some of y'all are like, hold up, how she get these dates? Mm -hmm. Well, these dates are based on how and where the amulets were found. These amulets, these little tiny things, were found just outside of Jerusalem in the tomb. So this burial cave is located within the site Ketef Hinnom, which is how we get the name Ketef Hinnom Amulets. Now the type of um, burial cave that it was, like how they actually fashioned it out with certain benches and certain areas, uh, is actually something that we can use to date to a specific period. In the Old Testament period, the Iron Age. Okay, let me tell you what he means when he says Iron Age. When we're talking about the Iron Age, we're talking about the time that dates between 1200 BC to 586 BC. This period is also referred to as pre-exilic. Which means that it is uh, before the Israelites were conquered by Babylon and forced into exile. Okay, so let's keep talking about the time period for these tombs, right? Iron Age, pre-exilic, got it? Good. In the Old Testament period, the Iron Age, there was group burial. And I'm not necessarily just talking about mom, dad, and their kids. I'm talking about like grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, cousins, like everybody shared. <laughs> what that means is your loved one dies, you place them in the tomb, you need kind of like a bench, like a little shelf, and that person was allowed to rest for eternity there. And what the practice was, was you allowed the body to decay. Once their body completely decomposed, and basically it was only the bones left, then they can move the bones aside. And you'd put it into a, a secondary burial. Now most of these tombs had a repository. So if this is the shelf, let's say I'm, I'm standing up and I'm at the shelf, down below near the floor would have been a chamber and it was just disarticulated. He just threw all the bones in there. And this amulet was found in the repository where all the other bones were thrown in. So that's where, you know, the archaeologists are just, you know, layer by layer removing the bones and the artifacts there. And when they got to the bottom of this repository is when they found this little amulet. And then, of course, along with that, which kind of every culture has some form of. So they usually have some kind of like burial gifts, things that they put with the body as well. And this is where the Ketafinom amulets come into play. This was part of a burial. So just to be clear, the Ketafinom amulets were found in a tomb that dates to about the 7th, 6th century BC. And according to the layering rules of archeology, span the layers at the top are younger and as you move down, the layers get older and older and older. And with the Katefi gnome amulets, they were found at the lowest possible layer, which means that they were put there really close to the time the tomb was constructed, which was around the 7th or 6th century BC. And this means that they can be relatively dated to the 7th, 6th century BC. 
And so that's why I was able to say this is one of the reasons I should say is we were able to say that this is around 7th, 6th century. And y'all, this is especially dope because up until the discovery of the Ketef Hinnom amulets, the earliest copies of the Hebrew Bible came from the Dead Sea Scrolls, which date to about 125 BC to 125 AD. But with the Ketef Hinnom amulets, we have some small portion that dates to about the 7th to 6th century BC. Let me tell you what these amulets bring to the table. They demonstrate that as early as the 6th century BC, people are copying the Book of Numbers. And this challenges those who say that the Book of Numbers was written at a much later time. And I mean, if we keep it real, there are only two sides to this argument. One side is all, obviously the Book of Numbers and those that go along with it were written after the Israelites were exiled to Babylon. Therefore, they are post-exilic. And the other side is all, of course the Book of Numbers and the books that go along with them were written before the Israelites were exiled to Babylon. They are definitely pre-exilic. But with the Ketefi Nome amulets being relatively dated to the 7th to 6th century BC, we can clearly see that the Book of Numbers, or at least some portion of it, has already been written before the exile. And I think we could look at the fact that um, people are possibly at least discussing or memorizing uh, various parts of what we would might call text or scripture now. Maybe they didn't have the whole Bible, like they have a whole bunch of scrolls where they, they can pick up, you know, like we have a Bible today that we can pick up. But they knew at least parts and they had parts that they, whether they had it memorized or they could go somewhere and see it and copy it down, but then they can have it with them in like a little amulet, little inscription like the Ketaf Hinnom amulet. And so it just kind of gives I think um, this kind of confirmation for those of us who do believe in the Bible. Like we don't necessarily need that. Like I said earlier, like we have this faith that, that's not founded upon things like that necessarily. But I just kind of always like it when God kind of comes in with a, well just to, you know, encourage you a little bit. <laughs> Here's this. <laughs> So that's the Ketef Hinnom amulets. And I think these are an amazing archeological find. And they may not be a game changer for you, but they definitely were for me. Either way, it's important to talk about them, just so you know. So if you're looking for more information, check out these resources.